All right, we're ready to open the hearing on House Joint Resolution 8, brought to us by Representative Cheetah. Good morning, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. For the record, Brad Cheetah, T-S-C-H-I-D-A, representing House District 97, which is West Missoula and the community of Lolo. My plan this morning was to bring a solid defense of House J or HJ 8 to you all. But after some reflection the last week or so and some new information that came to my attention, I realized that I had brought a number two Phillips screwdriver to a job where I needed a jackhammer. And I guess we can always do one of two things in these situations. We can staunchly defend why we took the position we did even though we know it's wrong and try to make a solid argument out of it. Or we can admit that we were wrong or use the wrong tool, had the wrong tool to try to address a matter. A resolution of states under Article 5 is not necessarily meant to change the behaviors of individuals that we know are inappropriate, or at least we believe to be inappropriate. It's actually meant, um, Article 5 is meant to correct deficiencies and errors in the Constitution. So if we attempt to correct a problem with the wrong tool, I, we wind up probably creating additional problems. So I have uh, a practice in my family, and I try not to employ it all that often, called Ready, Fire, Aim. And we do that on uh, uh, a number of occasions, and so I try to avoid that at all possible, if at all possible. This was not one of those cases. I walked right into the middle of something that I should have done a much better job of researching beforehand, but thinking that it would be an opportunity to keep alive something that would serve a tremendous purpose, I agreed to uh, bring HJ8 uh, to this body, and I should not have done so. So what I am going to do is ask this group to vote against that particular resolution because I think that there are more effective ways to curb a problem in Washington, D.C. than using this measure. One of the arguments that was used in opposition to um, any kind of uh, measure to change um, the political scene in Washington, D.C. is that if you have a group of individuals who aren't following the current law anyway, what good does it do us to add one more law that they're going to ignore? And if we have the wrong process to bring a law that's going to potentially be ignored or may result in a, uh, a negative uh, action or a negative outcome, why do we do that? So, Mr. Chair, members of the committee, I would ask that uh, HJ8 uh, either be tabled or uh, that if you do bring it up uh, uh, under a motion to do pass that... Uh, uh, it not be passed in this committee. Mr. Chair. 